today's story is about a boy called Jeremiah. Now Jeremiah was the son of a priest. A priest was a man that loved God very much and showed lots of love to God and knew lots of God's laws. And then the priest would teach the people in the temple. And he also taught his son too. Now as Jeremiah grew up, he was a man that loved God, or a boy that loved God very, very much and wanted to do the right things. He knew all of God's laws. Now one day, Jeremiah was in the field when God spoke to him and he said to Jeremiah, Jeremiah, I've got an important job for you to do. I want you to speak to the people because they are showing too much broken love and I want you to tell them that they must change their ways and if they don't, then I'm going to send an army to come and attack, attack their land. And you know, Jeremiah said to God, I can't do that, I'm too small. But you know what God said? You are never too small. It doesn't matter how old you are or how young you are, I can use you to be my prophet, which means a messenger for God's messages to send to the people. And so, with God's help, Jeremiah went to speak to the people. But when he spoke to them, all of the people laughed. They didn't want to listen to what Jeremiah had to say. And they just carried on showing broken love. There was a king at the time who was called Josiah. And he was a good king and he loved God. And he wanted to teach the people to show love to God. And so he tried and he got rid of some of the things that the people were worshipping. And they started to try a bit more to show some love to God, but it wasn't enough. And the army did come and sadly King Josiah was killed. And so he wasn't there anymore to help the people to show love. So Jeremiah spoke to the people again and he warned them and he said, you must stop showing broken love or the army will come again to destroy you and your land. But still the people laughed and this time they actually arrested Jeremiah and they told him he could never go to the temple again. And so Jeremiah went to go and live out in the wilderness and the army did come and there was more attacking and more fighting and more people lost their lives. Now whilst Jeremiah was living in the wilderness, God carried on speaking to him and he told him all of the things that he needed to share with the people. But this time, Jeremiah had got a bit old and so Jeremiah told all of the things that God was saying to a younger man called Baruch and Baruch wrote them all down and then Baruch went to go and tell the new king. So this time he went along with all of the words that Jeremiah had told him and Baruch told the king about how the people needed to stop breaking love and they needed to start showing love again just like Jeremiah had told him to and he warned him that the army would come, the Babylonian army would come and they would take over their land. But Baruch was also put into prison and arrested and so he was unable to share all of God's messages too. Next, Jeremiah decided even though he was old he would go and see the king well, but there was a new king by this time so this king was called Zedekiah and Jeremiah just as God said spoke to Zedekiah now Zedekiah wanted to be a good king and he loved God but his advisors around said no don't listen do not listen to Jeremiah and you know he told him to put Jeremiah down a well and so Jeremiah went down a well. Now, poor Jeremiah, from the moment he was a young boy, he had listened to everything that God had told him to do. Now, he was an old man 
and whilst he was in the well, he said to God, God, why has this happened to me? I've done everything that you asked me to do, but now I'm just stuck down the well. But you know, God was always close to Jeremiah and God always looked after him and always loved him. And he told Jeremiah that he was pleased with him. He said that he'd done a good job and that all of the things all the people were doing were not his fault. And if these people chose to not listen to God, then that meant they were choosing to be far apart from God. And that wasn't Jeremiah's fault. Jeremiah had done a good job and God was pleased with him. And then do you know what happened? One of the people, one of the servants, snuck out and they rescued Jeremiah from down the well. So Jeremiah didn't stay there forever. And then, when Jeremiah was on his own with God again, God spoke to Jeremiah and he said, the day will come when I am going to make a new plan and I am going to do something to make a new promise with my people. And you know, we know what that is, don't we? Because we know that a little bit later in the Bible, God does send Jesus into the world and makes a new promise that people can be close to God when Jesus comes and he does amazing things and teaches the people all about God's love again. And so that's the story of Jeremiah. And what we need to remember today is that even if we do a job sometimes and it feels really, really difficult, but as long as we do the right job, even if people don't listen to us and we keep sticking by the one job that we're meant to do, that we're doing the best that we can do. And that's just like Jeremiah. He did the best job he could do to keep showing love no matter what other people were doing. So I wonder today what special job you've got to do to keep on trying even if things are difficult and even if people don't listen to you we can only do the things that are right for us can't we we can only do a good job that we can do we can't always change how other people do things as long as we are doing the best that we can do then that's what's important <laughs>